Cameron Kay here and today I'm going to demonstrate how to do a Ming pottery pendant on a leather chain. They're really cool. They're actually from China and they're pieces from the Ming Dynasty of pottery shards. They come in all different colors. They're fun. Today I'm wearing a kimono but you can actually wear them with jeans and a t-shirt and they look great. I'll see you there and I'll show you the lesson. <laughs> show you today how to make a Ming pendant necklace and as you can see here there are loads of different pendants I actually purchased these from Fire Mountain Gems and they come in all different colors what they are is they're a Chinese pottery pendant so each one that comes is different colors different size um, and I wanted to show you the variety of the ones here so what I'm going to do today I'm going to clear these out of the way and you can do all different color cords you know you can do green pink um, this one that I did is the one that I'm going to show you how to do today and I used a black leather cord with kind of this blue min pendant and it has the coils and the lobster claw so the one that I'm going to show you is going to be this green kind of leafy pattern. I'm going to go a little organic today and I'm actually going to use a 19 inch kind of leather slash suede cord. So what you need for the project is the main pendant or any pendant that you want to put on a cord and you can use like I said a leather cord. This is a suede brown. Two pairs of our flat nosed pliers and then these two little coils for the ends of the suede cord. Um, you can also use the E6000 and glue them in. I prefer to use the flat nose pliers and pinch the coil because I think that it just holds a lot better because these are quite heavy. So if you have a heavy pendant, I prefer to use these. And then you're gonna need a clasp. I'm gonna use a lobster claw clasp. So it's very simple. All we're going to do, because this pendant already has a jump ring on it, so easy. I'm just going to slide this cord, and like I said, this one's 19 inches. I like them to hang a little high because they are heavy, through the cord like so. I know it's tough. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and take one of these coils with the ring on the top. I'm going to slide the end of the cord through it and then I'm going to take my flat nosed pliers and along the bottom here I'm not sure if you can see but there's a little piece that's shorter I'm going to take the pliers and I'm going to pinch that tight so it holds and I'm going to try to demonstrate this to you on camera we'll see but it is a little tough and you're doing it on camera. There we go. Voila. So I just pinched it in, so now it's tight, so it holds. I'm going to do the same thing with this side. You're going to stick it through the coil. And then I'm going to pinch this bottom piece tight. And you kind of need to separate it from the coil, too, before you pinch it. There you go, see it's very tight and very pinched. Now at the top of these is a little jump ring. What I'm gonna do, I actually already opened this a bit to save time. You're gonna open up the top like so, so you can fit whatever clasp, in this case it is a lobster claw clasp, onto the jump ring. And then I'm just gonna bend it with my pliers closed, like so. And there you go. You have a beautiful min pendant necklace. And this is, like I said, my organic one. You can do them in all different colors. As I showed before, you know, you can do pink. This one's kind of more basic, the black and the blue. Have fun and good luck. 